to have fun shooting at that dude. Are houses around here? There's, I've heard there's a queen up, there's a queen murloc around here too. Blowing one. Myers I already That was the critical On there for a second there. Wow. Murloc King was pretty pointless. Didn't even look like a Murloc. Careful, I'm running out of stem packs again. Yeah, I'm technically not because I have like 2,000 of them. We don't need any more burlock meat. We have plenty of burlock meat. That's the boat over there. Probably ran right by the boat. I think this is the boat. There it is. Perfect.
have a minute? Got something on my mind? Of course. Anything you need. Anything I need, huh? I might take you up on that one day. After Tommy stuck me with you, I was expecting to hate your guts. Not only because you've agreed to pick up me contract, but because I was waiting for you to order me around like hired help. Now, so far, you've been treating me like a friend. Hell, you've been damn near nice to me. Now, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but your kindness is starting to make me wonder if there's anything I learned in the combat zone. It was that nobody does things for other people without expecting something in return. What exactly do you think I'm expecting in return? Who knows? Doing your laundry, taking a bullet for you, hauling your gear. What's the difference? I don't think I'm getting through to you. Let me explain what I mean, then maybe you'll understand where I'm coming from. I spent three years living at the combat zone. Smelled like puke and piss, but I called it home. I was making a few caps, had me own bed to sleep in, and three hot meals a day. Then the raiders took over the place. You know that lot. You aren't exactly what you'd call the gentle type. After they moved in, if you didn't keep looking over your shoulder, you were liable to get sucker punched or robbed. Or worse. Didn't take me long to learn that I had to put my hard-earned caps to good use. Buying friends was essential to making life easy. So, I guess I'm waiting for you to hand me a bill. You know what I mean? You don't owe me a thing. Now I'm having a real hard time believing that. I'll tell you what, give me some time and I'll think of something I can do to repay you. I'm not a rich girl, but I'm sure we can agree on something. After all, what are friends for? You got a second? I got something I want to say to you. Of course. What's on your mind? <laughs> Appreciate it. We've been on the road together for a while, and we've taken some hard knocks. But through all that crap, I noticed you've always been sticking by me. You know, watching me back and making sure I don't do anything stupid. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There's no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. I appreciate your trust. Well, you're the first to earn it. It all starts with two waste of humanity, I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced I was a mistake, because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing but a nuisance in their eyes. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if it was just the tiniest bit, because they never kicked me out. Then me 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around me neck and sold me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. 18 years of suffering through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Thanks. But there is more to the story. It would be easy to blame me charming personality on me parents, but they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of me goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they use me for their amusement. It sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing a few caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. As long as you don't get greedy. I can't even imagine having to go through something like that. You think that's low? Just wait. The story gets much worse. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy me own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You can imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. Sounds like justice to me. Was it justice? Or was it murder? When I close me eyes, all I can see is their faces twisted with fear. 
And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl? I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate. Stripped bare for your perusal. Why judge yourself? My parents sold me into slavery. But did they deserve to die for it? Yeah, I took some hard knocks as I was growing up. But they fed me and kept me from glowing with rads. This is the kind of crap that starts me mind wandering and drives me literally to drink. I guess I'm just waiting to hear what you think of me now. Hey, I'm proud of you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this. But I never expected you to say you were proud of me. I... I, I think I needed to hear that from you. Thank you. You want to flirt with her? What? I'm what? always here for you, Kate. There's nothing you could say that would ever change that. I'm glad you feel that way. We're partners, and we should know everything about each other. Only way to keep the playing field level. I the charisma up now. Apparently I want to fl flirt with her. Is that what I want to do now? There is a get the get a uh, friend or whatever up to magazines found. Okay, for those. It's exploded. Corpses eaten. I've only I've collected eight bobbleheads so far. Oh, the mysterious guy came over forty-three times so far. Terminals. I hack it. Mind ex disarm ten. That's not too. That's active. Right ideas. What? Oh wow. I still need 26 more computers to hack. My god. That's right, I need to level up too, don't I? Eh, we'll do three. Though. There's supposed to be a queen on here. I don't know where she is, though. Question is, do I want to find her? Really? Answer would probably be no. Go to sleep. Why do they do that? Oh, my I saw green grass. Look at that. You stupid crab. If I were to if I were a betting man, I'd say the queen would probably be around here. Yeah, 
danger. Nope, it's just a uh, thing. when I did the Christmas. What a king. So, again, one enemy uh, was stronger than the last one. No reason whatsoever. Want to fight the king again? Murdered me. Now I gotta take Kate around some more because she apparently likes me. Despite the fact that I'm gonna run away with her. You know, all your stuff, my friend. I'll hide. One day I will find a death ball. Then I will fight the death ball. Water pipe. Bag of fertilizer. Up any stupid items I could throw? Wow, I did. Right. I she was fighting against. She never actually killed it, did she? Kind of fought it for a while, but then gave up on it. I'm gonna fight that king again. Probably a really dumb idea. Drink the water. The king is nowhere. N okay. Sounds like something big just came up. Kind of like something that came out of the water. Are those fish actual fish in the game, or are they just in those things everywhere? I do not want to fight them. I don't want to do any can. That would actually have been a good idea. I should actually do all those things. Unlock all of them. It likes yes. when I do that. I like that. We're going to go back over there and do all those uh, hobby pins.
gonna get those about 20 or so safes over there. I don't know if she can actually get up there, but. Furlongs. Whatever they're, however they're scrolled. Oh, I just took the gun. Radiated? I notice me. Notice me, Senpai. Should be one more over here, I think. Yep. Alright. That bobby pin did me well. Pretty to God, the novice ones are the hardest ones. Behind would be bad at this point. Right, I can't teleport with that gun in my hand. That gun. Hey, I gotta. You have to come back. I gotta find you. What the crap doing? Just waiting at me? Carry more of your junk. Okay. Marksman, something or other. Crab is apparently radiated. I believe there's supposed to be a. I'm not going to look around. I shouldn't be trying to kill this thing. Oh. He wasn't doing nothing. I still killed him. Still terrible. Killed the giant crab monster. Queen? 
we're here already. I've ever made a Told that that gun, the, the it was a, is a magnum. It is a magnum. But I thought it, it was a pistol. Sort of thing. Uh, some games have the magnum as a pistol, it's a stronger pistol. But apparently that gun is a magnum. It's like it's a straight up magnum. Not as, it's stronger than my handgun for sure. For certain, it doesn't fire very. Well. That's one of the main reasons I usually. Kind of game. I like it. Like if, it was, if this was like a straight up, um, like RPG or something, I'd probably take the stronger weapon because you can pretty much, you know, you don't have to worry about the enemies attacking you. So. Because it is. And, okay, we're gonna go to uh, teleport to that place that I was supposed to go to. Uh, 